guys, Broken Reel 23. We loaded up on uh, sand fleas today. Got a cold front coming in. So that's gonna push these little guys down much deeper. The water drops, you know, 68, 67. It's gonna get a lot harder to find them up here in the Jacksonville, Florida area. So I went a couple times a day and loaded up. And what we're gonna do is brine them. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So all you need, guys, sea salt, or you can get kosher salt. And first, uh, we gotta thank Noel Kuhn. This is his recipe that he's been using to keep sand fleas, and uh, works great. Of course, then you need your pot. I used uh, bottled water, so I don't have any chlorine in it. And then I got a couple different size containers that I use. I have six of the big ones, and then uh, six of the small ones. <clears throat> now the big ones, you can put 40, 50 sand fleas in there. And what happens when you uh, brine them, guys, in this salt water, it will not freeze. So you can grab them out of this container as you need them and put a few in a bag and go fishing. It will not freeze solid. So what Noel suggests, fill it with water, get it boiling, and you add sea salt until it won't absorb any more into the water and it forms a crust. You let it uh, cool down. Then you put your fleas in the container and pour the water in and seal it and put it in the freezer. So these are some of the sand fleas I froze almost a week ago now. Yeah, nearly a week. Just to show you how it works. I'm taking fishing. See, it doesn't freeze. They're ready to catch some fish, guys. So if you haven't done this way of doing it, with the uh, just brining them. I like this much better than the blanching them. I don't like those orange sand fleas. I know people swear by them, but I've always done better doing it this way. Thanks to Noel Kuhn for uh, giving his secret with that kosher salt, sea salt mixed with water and uh, boiled. Then you add the sand fleas in and then put it in the freezer. Works great guys. Hope this helps. Mm -hmm.